We're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Actor Henry Winkler, who played the Fonz, was told he was stupid. The governor of Connecticut was called mentally retarded. Now, both of them have dyslexia, and they are examples of high achievers whose affliction may have helped them succeed. Join us now, our WSJ veteran health reporter, Melinda Beck, and actor Henry Winkler from Happy Days. Thanks so much to both of you for being, for being here. And Melinda, I want to set you to set the stage with the science here. Uh, as many as one in five Americans have some degree of dyslexia, a neurological issue, makes reading difficult. Scientists and doctors say their brain, the brains may work differently, and it may actually help them be more creative. Well, now they can actually see the brain at work. And <clears throat> in studies comparing how normal readers read compared to readers with, with d dyslexia, they actually see um, different parts of the brain lighting up. And in um, normal readers, there's two areas that sound out words carefully, and then one in the back that kind of stores what they look like, their meanings, their sounds, and can retrieve them automatically when you see them. People with dyslexia have much less activity back there, so they're always kind of sounding these words out. And many of them read very accurately, but it goes very slowly. Now, Henry, uh, you're one of the great actors of, of, of my time. I loved watching the show uh, growing up, uh, Happy Days. I want to talk a little bit about when you were little. It was very difficult for you, I understand, with dyslexia, being in school. Uh, tell us a little bit about how, how you dealt with that affliction while you were growing up. Okay, can I just say, I like to think of it as a challenge rather than an affliction. Good. Um, you know, a, a learning challenge. Uh, it, what happens is you think to yourself, wow, I don't think I'm stupid. I don't want to be stupid. But the outside world is telling you that you are. So it's really hard to balance it up. It's really hard to uh, reconcile what you hear and what you feel. And ultimately, uh, what I tell almost every child I meet ad nauseum is that how you learn has nothing to do with how brilliant you are. And when you were, and when you, it's a very well put, when you were on the sets uh, and trying to read from scripts and so forth, how did you manage there with this challenge? Well, you don't, you don't manage, you, you negotiate. Uh, it, it is so difficult. Even now, uh, when, when I meet other actors for a new project around the table, we just uh, finished shooting Arrested Development for the new season. And it, I am embarrassed. Uh, all this time later, uh, I read more slowly, I stumble. But if you want something, you just plow ahead and you figure out how to get it done. And I know you told Melinda, I think, that you memorized some of your scripts, correct? Well, when I was auditioning, I would memorize it in the waiting room as much as I could. I got the sense of the scene. I went in and I ad-libbed the rest of it. And they would say, well, you know, you're not reading uh, what uh, was written. I said, I'm giving you the essence of the character. That's right, and, and bringing creativity to it. And Melinda, that's what other people you've talked to uh, who are turning dyslexia into a, into a positive in their career say. They're just sort of using their brain differently. Who are some other folks you spoke with? One guy who is a paleontologist out in Montana. I am so in awe of this guy. He graduated from high school with all D's, he flunked out of college, but he always wanted to be a dinosaur hunter. And he has made some of the most spectacular dinosaur finds in the Western Hemisphere. And now he's got three honorary degrees and MacArthur Genius Grant. And he likes to quote Albert Einstein saying that reading is overrated. <laughs> and if you're a scientist, what you do is you make the discoveries yourself and then you don't have to read about them no, from think, everybody else. I think that's very good advice. Uh, Henry, last word to you. If you were going to give advice to somebody today uh, who's challenged with dyslexia, what, what would you tell them? Okay, I would tell them that they have greatness inside them and it's their job to figure out what is special about them. Maybe they are great avocado growers, maybe they're great dancers, maybe they are neurosurgeons. Dig it out and give it to the world. The world needs their special quality. Great advice. Henry Winkler, thank you so much for joining us. Melinda Beck, more for me. Pleasure. Thank you. More for you in the personal journal section tomorrow. Appreciate okay. you being here. Okay.